In this video, we are going to be looking at the circle theorems and we are going to be applying them to solve for this question that we are given from Y 2018 GCE Mathematics exam paper. We are going to be looking at the isosceles triangle and our work is cut out for us. It's Dave Tooth Academy where we are devoted to building academic excellence in students, especially for their STEM subjects. If you are still yet to subscribe, go ahead and click on the subscription icon, click on the notification icon so that you have access to all of our videos as you upload them. And so, let's head over to our video for today. So, question number 5b. In this diagram, we are given that O is the center of the circle, PQ and QR, they are equal in length, and PSR is 56. We are to find angle QRS. Now, locating QRS on the diagram, that is being shaded in red, that is angle QRS that we are told to find. But now, looking at this question, how best can we go about it? There will be quite a number of ways to employ. But since we are told that um, PQ and QR are equal, we can form an isosceles triangle from that PQ and QR. And the base angles of isosceles triangles, they are equal. So angle QPR and the other angle PRQ, which we are denoting as X, they are equal. And the reason is that they are base angles of an isosceles triangle. That is one of the properties of an isosceles triangle. Is base angles, they are equal. So now, having known that, if we look at the center of the circle also, and we look at the diameter, we also notice that the angle PRS is going to be 90 degrees. Now, angle PRS is a right angle, is 90 degree. And why? The reason is because this is the angle that is subtended at the circumference by a diameter. The angle on the diameter is a straight line, that's 180. Half of it is 90, which is subtended at the circumference of the circle. So now, we have gotten PRS to be 90, and then we have um, QR, we have PRQ to be hex. Our QRS that we are asked to find, from the diagram, we can see that it will amount to X plus 90 degrees. So our task has been simplified to finding the value of X because we know 90 already. To find S, if you look at um, the angles being shown in green, we will notice that they are opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. So angle RSP, which is 56, plus angle RQP, the other one in green, the two, they will sum up to be 180 degrees. And that is from the fact that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, they are supplementary. Supplementary meaning that they add up to 180. Now, these are basic rules of the circle theorem that normally help us to solve this type of questions. So with this expression that we just wrote, we can say 56 plus um, this angle, if we call it A, 56 plus A is 180 degrees, so that A is 180 minus 56, and that will give us 124 degrees. So now, we've gotten A, but looking at triangle the isosceles triangle, if you consider the triangle QPR, we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So A plus the two X, they are going to give us 180 degrees because the sum of angles of a triangle is 180. So we can solve for X from here. Our A is 124 plus 2x is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, um, our 2x will be 180 minus 124, and that is 56 degrees, so that x is 56. x will be 56 divided by 2, and that will be 28 degrees. So now, our QRS that we are looking for we can solve, since we now know the value of x, 
and that angle QRS will be X plus 90, which is 28 plus 90, and that is 118 degrees. And with this understanding of the theorems of circle and the property of isosceles triangle, our question is solved. That's all we're going to be having for today is Dave Tooth Academy. And if you have found this video useful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification icon, like the videos, share with your loved ones, share with your friends, share with your younger ones, share with your relatives. And together, let's build academic excellence in students. Until next time, God bless you.